Hi folks, this is Jake. I hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. It's good to be with you. Sorry about this. We are looking at this book and uh, God's Philosophers and uh, we're, we've looked at the new scholarship on the Middle Ages over the last 100 years and uh, now we're going to go into some a bit more detail. Popular journalistic opinion and cliché and misinformed historians notwithstanding recent research has shown that the Middle Ages was a period of enormous advances in science, technology and culture. In other words, regardless of journalistic, journalistic cliches, popular opinion and misunderstandings, the new scholarship has shown us that the Middle Ages was a period of enormous advance in science, technology and culture. The compass, paper, printing, stirrups, gunpowder all appeared in Western Europe between 500 AD to AD 1500. True, these inventions originated in the Far East, but Europeans developed them to a far higher degree than had been the case elsewhere. The Italian doctor and mathematician and astrologer Jerome Cardan, 1501-76, wrote that the ne next to the compass, printed book and canon, the whole of the ancient world has nothing to compare. A compass allowed Christopher Columbus, 1541-1506, to navigate his way across the Atlantic Ocean sailing far from the site of land to discover the new world in 1492. The development of printing and paper meant that an incredible 20 million books were produced in the first 50 years after John Johann Gutenberg, 1398-1468, had published his printed Bible in 1455. This dwarfed the literary output of antiquity. Printing probably had an even greater effect than gunpowder, which, like the stirrup before it, revolutionised warfare and allowed Europeans to dominate the rest of the world. Meanwhile, the people of medieval Europe invented spectacles, the mechanical clock, the windmill, and the blast furnace by themselves, lenses and cameras, almost all kinds of machinery, and the Industrial Revolution itself all owe their origins to the forgotten inventors of the Middle Ages. Just because we don't know their names, this does not mean that we should not recognise their achievements. So there's been a great injustice done to understanding the Middle Ages.